Hello. Welcome to Amazing Fun Health Facts. In this session, we'll discuss something many of you are curious about osteoporosis. Osteoporosis primarily refers to a condition where bone mineral density decreases, making bones more prone to breaking. In simple terms, it's as if bones develop holes, becoming more fragile and at higher risk of fractures. Osteoporosis can affect both men and women, but women are more likely to develop it at a younger age compared to men. As of 2022, the number of osteoporosis patients in the United States alone is about 8 million, with people between the ages of 50 and 60 accounting for 55%, and those in their 70s accounting for 30.9%. So, why do people develop osteoporosis? Commonly, Osteoporosis is known to be caused by a rapid decrease in female hormones associated with menopause in women. However, the truth is that osteoporosis can occur regardless of gender or age. Here are seven significant causes of osteoporosis. By carefully examining these causes and addressing each, bone mineral density can be improved at any age. The first reason for developing osteoporosis is fundamentally due to inadequate calcium supply. Calcium is a very important mineral for human life, and the body is designed to maintain an average of 9.5 milligrams per deciliter of calcium in the blood. This regulation is known as calcium homeostasis. The quality of stomach acid is the most crucial factor affecting the supply of calcium, which must be maintained at a constant level in the blood. A healthy person's stomach acid acidity is around a pH of 1.5. However, as age increases, the acidity of stomach acid gradually becomes more alkaline, reaching pH levels of 2.5 or 3.5. A difference of 2 in acidity can weaken the strength of stomach acid to just one hundredth of its original capacity. This weakened stomach acid struggles to break down regular food and finds it even more difficult to dissolve minerals. Therefore, individuals with osteoporosis need to make efforts to restore their digestive function, and when taking mineral supplements like calcium, it's important to choose easily ionized products. The second reason for decreasing bone mineral density is low vitamin D concentrations in the blood. Vitamin D is essential for transporting calcium, which we consume from food or supplements to the blood. Generally, 30 nanograms per milliliter is considered normal, but maintaining levels between 55 and 70 nanograms per milliliter is necessary to transport consumed calcium into the bloodstream efficiently. The third cause is maintaining an appropriate body weight. Improving bone mineral density is difficult without properly managing a weight suitable for height. Bone mineral density is deeply related to the gravitational force exerted on the body, and body weight is another expression of this force. It has been discovered that the rapid deterioration of bone density in early astronauts was due to this. The fourth is the fact that bones cannot exert force by themselves. All bones become as strong as the muscles and ligaments connected to them. Therefore, exercises that strengthen muscles and ligaments are essential for increasing bone density. The fifth reason for worsening bone density is related to the consumption of processed foods, refined foods, excessive sugars, overeating, excessive alcohol consumption, and smoking. Unhealthy eating habits acidify the body fluids, and the body uses calcium from the blood to neutralize this acidity. If there isn't enough calcium in the blood, it will be taken from the bones, leading to decreased bone density. Therefore, maintaining healthy eating habits is crucial the sixth reason is physical and mental stress. These stresses can acidify the body and significantly contribute to decreasing bone density. Thus, managing to avoid excessive stress is necessary. The seventh reason involves certain diseases or prescription medications that can interfere with calcium absorption or reduce bone mineral density. Diseases such as multiple myeloma, Cushing syndrome, adrenal tumors, hyperparathyroidism, and cancer can cause osteoporosis. Also, medications like anticoagulants such as heparin, anticonvulsants, thyroid hormone, corticosteroids, 
diuretics, and calcium channel blockers can hinder calcium absorption and lead to osteoporosis. In such cases, consulting healthcare professionals to use alternative medications is essential. We have now examined seven causes of osteoporosis. If you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, you can strengthen your bones again by addressing these seven causes individually. This is because all bones completely renew themselves every six to ten years. Believe that bones are alive and do not neglect efforts to revive our innate healing power. Thank you for watching till the end. This was Amazing Fun Health Facts.